I've been telling you. So we were talking about the modulation. This is the instantaneous value, and this is the resulting value, and this will have these different uh, components. So one is a uh, difference component. The other one is a uh, sum component. This is where we done that, and we say messages and music. So it will have instrumental and vocal. Uh, so what happens is this instrument gets adjusted uh, with your pitch, quality, and volume. And if noise dominates, you won't be able to see it properly. So one will have a frequency which is a sum component. The other one is a difference component. When there is no modulation, the amplitude of the carrier wave is zero. So the frequencies present in AM wave are given by the sideband frequencies. And for n is equal to one, uh, it, it refers to the first pair. Okay, and this is the range of frequencies on to the lower side, and this is on to the other side. So this is called the lower sideband, and this is called the upper sideband. Okay, now let's define. Uh, in today's class, we will define what is known as the modulation index. So just take down this definition. This definition says that this is uh, Vm by Vc is the modulation index. Let us see what it means. So before we talk about this, let us now represent A modulating signal we represent a modulating signal let me use a red pen so let's say that this is your amplitude then this is how you represent your modulating signal. This is amplitude. This is of short frequency. Or we will say of the order of kilohertz. This frequency is of the order of kilohertz. Now, let me represent A carrier signal and they say its carrier signal is of high frequency. It can be mu mega hertz. So that means when the frequency is more, when the frequency is more. So how do you represent this? You represent this So if they come closer Okay, so time period is reduced and frequency is increased. So now how do you represent this waveform? So this is how you represent the first one is representing a signal or a message and this is your carrier. So now what actually happens is, this is what I told you to copy, you can take a screenshot. When you combine these two, this is what happens. So before that, you just try to analyze a modulated amplitude of the signal. 
plus. Okay, so from here, okay, and write down the readings properly. This is your voltage as a function of energy. This is your time. Uh, let me use a different color here. This will give you Vc. Okay. And the amplitude of this very clearly you please follow from here to here is your vm sine omega m t and from here to here This is your VC. This is also VC. This is also VC. This is basically the amplitude of AM. Waves. This is the amplitude of AM waves. Have you copied? Yes, ma'am. Just prompt me if you've uh, done with it. Yes, ma'am. 